This poem is about a certain kind of northern obstinacy. Hardly ever seen it. And it's called Runcorn Ferry, in brackets, tuppence per person per trip, by Marriott Edgar. On the banks of the Mersey, over on Cheshire side, lies Runcorn, the best known to fame, by transporter bridge, as tax folks over its stream, or else brings them back across same. In days before transporter bridge were put up, a ferry boat lay in the slip, and now Ted the boatman would row folks across at per tuppence per person per trip. Now, Runcorn lay over on one side of the stream, and Widness on t'other side stood. And as nobody wanted to go either place, well, trade wasn't any too good. One evening, to Ted's superlative surprise, three customers came into view. A Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom, it were, and Albert, their little son, too. How much for the three? Mr Ramsbottom asked. As his hand in his pocket did dip, and Ted said, same for three as it would be for one, per tuppence per person per trip. You're not charging tuppence for that little lad, said Mother, her eyes flashing wild. Per tuppence per person per trip, answered Ted. Per woman, per man, or per child. Five pence for three. That's the most I'll pay, said Father. Don't waste time in talk. For tuppence per person per trip, answered Ted, and them as can't pay has to walk. We can walk and all, said father. Come, mother, it's none so deep, t'weather's quite mild. So into the water the three of them stepped, the father, the mother, the child. The further they paddled, the deeper it got, but they wouldn't give in once to be gone. In the spirit that's made Lancashire what she is, they'd sooner be drowned than done. Very soon the old people were up to their necks and the little lad clean out of sight, said father. Where's Albert? And mother replied, I've got hold of his hand and he's all right. To just at that moment, Pa got an idea. And floundering back to old Ted, he said, We've walked that way. Come, take us rest for half price. That's a penny head. But Ted wasn't standing for none of that there and making an obstinate lip. Per tuppence per person per trip, Ted replied. Per trip or per part of per trip. All right then, said father. Let me take the boat and I'll pick up the others halfway. I'll row them across and I'll bring the boat back and thruppence into bargain I'll pay. To a money for nothing. Ted answered, right o and father got hold of the skulls. With a sharp end at boat towards middle of the stream, he were there in a couple of poles. He got mother out, it were rather a job, with the water she weighed half a ton. Then pushing the oar down the side of the boat, started fishing around for his son. When poor little Albert came up to the top, his collar was soggy and limp, and with holding his breath at the bottom so long, his face were as red as a shrimp. Pa took them across and he brought the boat back. And he said to old Ted on the slip, Wilt row me across by myself? Ted said, Aye, that per tuppence per person per trip. When they got to the side, father laughed it to bust. He'd got best at bargain, you see. He'd worked it all out and he'd got his own way. And he'd paid Nobbert fivepence for three.